are the biggest cities in South Africa from the northeastern province of Gauteng. Home to over 16 million people, this province, the country's economic heartland, is facing a major water shortage. Taps have run dry, numerous areas experiencing intermittent supply, and some areas have no water at all. The province serves as a perfect example of how an area can experience water shortages and intermittent supply even though dams are full. The crisis in Gauteng has been developing over many decades. Rand Water, the water authority for the region, has imposed restrictions of 30%, which will be reset when the system recovers. The last water shutdown was in November 2021, when Rand Water cut off water for 54 hours. There were also restrictions during the drought in 2015-2017. The biggest problem lies with decaying infrastructure. This includes water storage, water supply and treatment. In addition, water resources are poorly managed and there's been poor planning to keep up with rapid urbanization. Estimates suggest that water consumption in Gauteng per person per day is over 300 litres well above the global average of 173 litres. Importantly, this estimate includes non-revenue water, water that's lost before it reaches the consumer. This stands at 41%. The quality of water infrastructure in South Africa is much lower in comparison to countries such as Nigeria and Zambia. In its 2017 infrastructure report card, the South African Institution of Civil Engineering concluded that the country's infrastructure was at risk due to its low overall grade of D+. Without water, you can't use the loo, you can't use the toilet. There's an urgent need to put water higher on the country's agenda. Various water problems are escalating at a rapid rate. So, what needs to be done? A suitable budget needs to be made available immediately to address priority areas. Johannesburg Water estimated in 2020 that 88 billion rand was required for the replacement of infrastructure with a total renewal backlog of 20.4 billion rand. A 3.3 billion rand multi-year capital budget has been allocated, aimed at replacing water and sewer pipes, upgrading water storage infrastructure and wastewater treatment works program. A further 2.3 billion rand has also been allocated to address burst pipes across the province. This won't solve the problem overnight, given that there have been decades of neglect, but a start needs to be made.